Oh, hey, welcome to my sweet digs. Come on in. Actually, wait, before you come in, some people ask you to take your shoes off, but I'm gonna ask you to subscribe below. Did you subscribe? Okay, great, come on in. Hey, I'm Elisa Kreisinger. I'm an executive producer at Refinery29, and I host and produce a podcast and video series called Strong Opinions, Loosely Held. We pay $3,400 for our mortgage every month, and that's actually less than we were paying in Brooklyn. So when we were looking for homes, we realized that we could get an entire house with a backyard and a garage and a driveway for less than we were paying for a one bedroom. The house is technically 1,500 square feet, plus the basement. I live with my partner in Glen Ridge, New Jersey. It's a suburb of New York City, about 30 minutes outside of New York. We both moved from Brooklyn and we both grew up in New Jersey, so it was important when moving back to New Jersey that we move someplace that was accessible to both of our families, and Glen Ridge just happened to be it. This is our living room, dining room, open kitchen floor plan. Uh, this area really was the room that sold us on the house. We were really happy to see that the previous owners had taken down these two walls and made it that open concept floor plan that we really wanted. The aspect of our life that definitely influences our home the most is our desire to entertain. We love entertaining, we love having people over and having an open concept where you could see everybody um, was really important to us. The most sentimental piece of furniture that we have in the house is a 1950s German radio record player. I found this on heavy trash night my senior year in college in the summer, put it in the back of my car and I stored it at my parents' house and uh, it's one of my favorites. It has a really warm sound, very inviting. My partner Meg took this on our vacation to Key West a few years ago. We go to Key West every winter. Don't ask me ever to take that down because it's literally bolted into the wall. We did not have a formal dining room in Brooklyn. We had a teeny tiny table. My partner Meg and I have lived here for about three months, right? November, December, January, February, March. No, we got April, May, June. No, July. Whoa, eight months, shit. Okay. My partner and I have lived in this house for eight months. We moved in in December, right after Thanksgiving. It was really important for us to have a space and be settled for the Christmas holidays so that we could host our families together. We didn't exactly have any furniture and they didn't have a place to sit. And so for us having a dining room table where we could seat more than two or three people was really important. So it was great to be able to go to Target and find something like a full dinnerware set that was totally within our budget, very much within our style, that made us feel like real adults. This is one of my favorite spaces in the house just because we spend a lot of time cooking and that was one thing that we weren't really able to do in Brooklyn because our kitchen was like the size of this island. So now we have this big beautiful kitchen. Um, I haven't cooked yet, but it doesn't mean I won't. I'm still getting around to it. Uh, we put a lot of personal touches into the kitchen. We changed the backsplash, we changed out the hardware. I love just finding cool objects that have a great style or design purpose, like these little baskets to be able to put things in. Same with the matching little dish rack here. I just love having this stuff out that adds some personality and design aesthetic as well, which is why I love these over the door organizers. You can never have enough cabinet space. This is our bedroom. We did invest in a grown up bed with a headboard, which we were very excited about. But what's even better is this awesome made by design at Target comforter. It allows Meg to stay cool, I'm able to stay warm, and we're both happy. Hers and hers walk in closets, which I'm not gonna show you because that's where all of our stuff is. That's why our house looks so clean. But come on into the bathroom. We love this bathroom. Um, yes, I know, no double vanities. I know. I realize this is gonna sound a little bougie, but I would just love a double sink and a double vanity. I mean, there's two people. You need two sinks. The one cool feature about this tub is that it actually fills from above. 
So a really nice relaxing place to come in after a long day, take a bath, take a nice hot shower, and just recharge for the next day. This is our laundry room. So this is one of my most favorite rooms in the house because in Brooklyn, our laundry was a teeny tiny closet and now we have a full room with a sink and tons of closet and storage space. I don't even do the laundry in my relationship, but I so appreciate this room because it is so clean and organized. So we might not have double vanities, but we do have hers and hers wine fridges. I love this room. I know I said the other rooms were my favorite, but this is actually my favorite. So like I said, we love to entertain. One of the coolest things that we found were these stackable wine glasses. They save a ton of space and they allow us to have so many more glasses on hand for all of our guests, which is really cool. I found the house one night watching my home TV shows scrolling on my home finding app and we made an appointment to go to the open house on Sunday. We made an offer Monday evening and the offer was accepted Tuesday afternoon. We spent the majority of our life savings, don't regret it at all, and we were excited to finally find it. Thanks so much for coming to see my sweet digs. To see more videos like this, click here and to subscribe to Refinery29, click here.